Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered, just what is the universe? This infinite question has been stirring the human mind for millennia. From our earliest ancestors who looked up at a sky filled with twinkling stars and wondered about their place in it all. To today's scientists, who peer through telescopes to the very edges of the known universe, we are driven by a deep-seated curiosity. The universe is a concept so vast, so all-encompassing, that it's almost impossible to wrap our minds around it. But that doesn't stop us from trying. We are, after all, explorers by nature. We've crossed oceans, climbed mountains, and even ventured into the cold, dark vacuum of space, all in the name of discovery. And what a discovery it is. The universe is not just stars and galaxies, but the very fabric of existence itself. It's the space in which everything happens, from the smallest subatomic particle to the largest supercluster of galaxies. It's the stage on which the grand drama of existence plays out, from the birth and death of stars to the evolution of life itself. But it's not just about what's out there, it's also about us. The universe is a mirror that reflects our own existence back at us. When we look up at the night sky, we're not just seeing distant stars and galaxies. We're seeing our own place in the cosmos. We're seeing the story of our own existence, written across the heavens in a language that we're just beginning to understand. And yet, the more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. The universe is a mystery and we are detectives piecing together clues one star at a time. It's a journey of discovery that's as old as humanity itself, and it's one that we're still very much on. So what exactly is the universe? Let's delve deeper into this intriguing question. In simplest terms, the universe is everything that exists. Now let's unravel that a bit. Picture the universe as a grand cosmic ocean. An ocean teeming with galaxies, stars, planets, and everything in between, all held together by the invisible threads of gravity. These celestial bodies aren't just floating aimlessly. They're part of a complex, grandiose structure, a cosmic web of sorts. Each galaxy is a bustling city of stars. Some galaxies, like our own Milky Way, house hundreds of billions of these shining orbs, each potentially orbited by planets, some perhaps not too different from our own Earth. And these galaxies are not standalone entities. They're clustered together in groups, superclusters, and even larger structures. But here's the kicker. All this, the galaxies, stars, planets, they make up less than 5% of the universe. The rest? It's something we can't see, touch, or even fully understand yet. It's what we call dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter, an invisible substance, is believed to be the cosmic glue holding galaxies together. Despite making up about 27% of the universe, it remains one of the greatest mysteries in modern science. Dark energy, on the other hand, is the phantom force driving the universe's accelerated expansion. It accounts for a whopping 68% of the universe. And speaking of expansion, let's talk about the universe's birth. The widely accepted Big Bang Theory proposes that the universe began as a hot, dense point nearly 14 billion years ago. From that fiery birth, the universe has been expanding, growing larger and cooler, giving rise to the cosmos we see today. So when you gaze up at the night sky, remember, you're looking at a tiny fraction of an ever-expanding cosmic ocean. You're witnessing a snapshot of a universe in motion, filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. In essence, the universe is all of time and space and its contents. To truly comprehend the universe, we must first understand its scale. Imagine standing on a beach peering out at the vast, seemingly endless expanse of ocean. Now multiply that feeling of immensity and awe by a number so large, it's virtually impossible to comprehend. That's the scale of the universe. Our universe is so vast that we've had to create a special unit of measurement to even begin to grasp its size. This unit is known as a light year. A light year is the distance that light, traveling at a speed of about 186,000 miles per second, can cover in a year. To give you an idea, that's about 6 trillion miles. But even when measured in light years, the universe is mind-bogglingly large. Our Milky Way galaxy alone is estimated to be about 100,000 light years across. And yet, it's just one of an estimated 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe. The observable universe, by the way, is the portion of the entire universe that we can potentially see from Earth. It's believed to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. That's the distance light has traveled since the universe began some 13.8 billion years ago. And here's where things get even more mind-boggling. Each of those estimated 2 trillion galaxies contains hundreds of billions of stars. 
If you tried to count them all, at a rate of one per second, it would take you more than a hundred thousand years. But remember, that's just the observable universe. Scientists believe that beyond the observable universe lies the rest of the universe, which could be infinite. So, when we talk about the universe, we're talking about distances so vast and numbers so large that it's hard to wrap our minds around them. We're talking about a concept so large it boggles the mind. We're talking about the universe. When we talk about the universe, we're talking about a concept so large it boggles the mind. Despite our advancements in science, the universe still holds many mysteries. Imagine trying to solve a puzzle, but you only have a fraction of the pieces. That's what scientists are grappling with when it comes to understanding our universe. One of the greatest enigmas we face is the nature of dark matter and dark energy. These unseen forces make up about 95% of the universe, yet they remain invisible to our most sophisticated instruments. Dark matter, the cosmic glue, holds galaxies together, while dark energy, the unseen force, is causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. Now let's delve into the enigma of black holes. These fascinating phenomena are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. But what happens inside a black hole? That's a question that has puzzled scientists for decades. Some theories suggest that black holes could be portals to other universes, or that they crush everything into a point of infinite density, a singularity. Finally, we come to the tantalizing possibility of multiverses. This theory suggests that our universe might just be one of countless universes, each with its own laws of physics. Imagine a cosmic quilt of universes where each patch is a universe in itself. Some might be similar to ours, while others could be entirely different with unique particles, forces, and dimensions. As we grapple with these mysteries, we realize how much we have yet to learn. Each discovery only seems to raise more questions pushing us to look deeper, think harder, and reach further into the cosmos. The universe, much like a coy mistress, gives us a tantalizing glimpse of its wonders, only to retreat into the shadows, leaving us yearning for more. The universe, it seems, enjoys keeping its secrets. Let's recap what we've learned about the universe. In our quest to understand the cosmos, we started by defining the universe itself. It's everything that exists, has existed, or will exist. From the smallest subatomic particles to the vast galaxies that stretch out beyond our sight, the universe encompasses it all. It's an infinite space filled with energy, matter, time, and even concepts we're yet to fully grasp. We then grappled with the universe's incredible scale. To say it's enormous would be an understatement. It's so vast that our human minds struggle to truly comprehend it. We talked about how even the light from our closest star, other than the sun, takes over four years to reach us. And that's just in our tiny corner of the cosmos. The universe is so expansive that it makes our planet seem like a grain of sand on an endless beach. Our exploration took us further into the universe's composition. We discovered that it's made up of ordinary matter, dark matter, and dark energy. Ordinary matter, the stuff we can see and touch, makes up less than 5% of the universe. The rest is dark matter and dark energy, mysterious entities that we know exist but are still trying to understand. And finally, we delved into the enigmas of the universe. We considered the perplexing questions that scientists are still trying to answer. We pondered over the existence of multiverses, the nature of dark matter and dark energy, and the possibility of life beyond our planet. As we conclude our journey, it's important to remember that our understanding of the universe is still evolving. With every new discovery, with every answered question, come new mysteries to solve. Our knowledge is but a speck in the grand scheme of the universe's story. As we continue to gaze at the night sky, we'll keep asking questions, keep seeking answers, and keep marveling at the boundless wonders of our universe.